What's going on guys? Today just came in. We got the new Verizon Fios router. Let's get into this. Alright, so yeah. Um, long story short, I had to um, change out my service and everything. I got sick and tired of paying $190 a month to some bullshit. So um, Basically, I just went on and just canceled everything with them and re-signed up the new package, uh, just the internet, the gig speed, the whole nine yards. This is not advertising for Verizon, so we're not going to get into their packages and all that stuff. It's not, not a sponsored video, nothing. Um, just wanted to showcase the new router. Um, the old ones that most people have now um, are the quantum routers, and then now they have this new one that just came out. And... Um, yeah, so we're going to unbox it, show you guys what comes with it, get it set up, and show you what it's all about. This came a box inside of a box. So here's the router, and then this came in with um, just inside the box. So you got two coaxial cables of some sort, and then a splitter, all from them. So set these to the side. We'll open this up Let's see what we got here. So we'll open this up with the Husky knife. If you guys haven't seen this uh, video. Head over to the main page, check that out. Very nice, nice and simple. So we'll open this up. Here's the inside. Again, nothing crazy. New router, it's white now. Let's get started. Box, we'll get into that in a second. Here is this monstrosity of a router now. Nicely packaged, I gotta give that to them. Here is the new router itself. Again, like I said, it's white, nothing on the top. The bottom just has your mounting plates. So basically, I'm covering up the label with all the Wi-Fi information and router name and all that stuff. But you can see you got your four LAN ports, a USB 3.0, uh, a WAN, or WLAM, your coax cable port, and then a power line. So let's see what we got inside the other box, which is probably going to be your power cord. All that other nonsense that you need. As you can see, Verizon, I'm opening up the box wrong, as usual. Here we go, so, power wire. That was a fucking surprise, right? Ethernet wire. This is very, very, very easy. I mean, if you guys can't figure this out on your own, by now, it's 2020, and you guys don't know how to set up a router, you got some serious fucking issues. But, um, so yeah, so like I said, you got your power wire, goes in here, and they give you the auxiliary cord, um, or the coax cord I should say, and then you also now have the Wi-Fi 6, uh, like I said, WAN port, I don't know why they call it WAN or W-A-N or L-A-N, whatever the difference is, so you got, this is set up for Wi-Fi 6, it's ready for that, uh, we're just going to be setting it up with um, the hard wire onto a computer, show you guys that, and then all the other smart home shit can plug into the back on uh, to a wire connection on the router. So it is good that they give you the four ports still, which is nice. Anything less uh, is just unacceptable at this point in 2020. And um, yeah, so let's get this set up. Like I said, here's the old router. This is just in my utility room, nothing special. Like I said, here's the old quantum router. And we're gonna pop in the new one. Like I said, very simple. It's gonna be power, power wire, hook up the coax. And I have uh, the Philips Hue Smart Home that's going to plug into here. My regular Ethernet coming from my modem, which is right there. And my hard wire going into my main computer. Power wire here. So hook up the power wire. Again, this is the um, modem wire coming in. That's going to go into our Wi-Fi 6 port. And then we have the coaxial wire. Screw this wire in. This is again coming from the modem. So both of these wires came from the modem. Here's your main power wire. And then we're gonna hook up, um, this is my smart home. So my Philips Hue smart home. That's gonna go into the LAN port. Computer that I have hardwired in. Put that there. So that's that. Um, as you guys can see, very easy to set up with the new router. Now you don't actually have to input the name and the password. So your phone or any other Wi-Fi device that you're going to be hooking up to it will can see the router, the new name automatically, and then you can enter in the password. 
or on the back, you just turn your camera on if you guys have like an iPhone or something like that. Um, pretty much any smartphone I think you could do it with now. It has a QR code. So you just turn your camera on, scan the QR code, and it automatically connects it for you. So you don't have to input any information, any passwords, or anything like that. So it's super nice. When we did the uh, original speed test, I hooked it up. Um, I did it wireless and wired. My speeds were terrible. I, I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, you guys could see here, I'm running, um, it was 17 download, 11 upload, and then the latency was 8 and 10. Basically, I slowed down. So the latency is 6 and 7, and the download speed is 15. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on with this. Uh, this is like a Verizon problem that I've been having with them. Uh, again, I have the gigabyte speed. So it should be obviously significantly faster than that. So yeah, it's 15, 12, up, uh, the upload speed is 12. So a little faster for the upload, a little slower for the download, and that's hardwired in speed. So they're obviously not giving me what I'm paying for, and you know that's gonna be a whole nother topic for a whole nother video, uh, calling them and figuring that all out. But uh, as far as just setting up the new router and everything, uh, like I said, very straightforward. I don't like that it's so big now and square seems like all technology is going that way. I mean, we were going smaller for a while. Now we seem to be going uh, obnoxiously big at this point. All right, so as you guys can see, very straightforward to set up the router. Um, just wanted to shoot a quick video of, like I said, the unboxing of it and setting it up, showing you guys how to do it. Very easy. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll try and help you guys out the best I can. More interactive posts, go to the Facebook page. You guys can message us directly and ask us any questions you have pertaining to our videos or if you guys want to see something else or something more into detail head over to the Facebook page send us a message but yeah we'll get you taken care of straight away and try and help you guys out with whatever we can that's the whole purpose of this channel to help you the viewers out we have new videos coming out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss anything and thank you guys for watching take care